At a support group meeting for caregivers of child sexual assault victims, counselor Tina Toth helps these moms and grandmothers deal with the emotional trauma of everyday life. Marilyn Maxwell calls the counseling a godsend. Without this group, I don't think I could have maintained my sanity. Maxwell says the governor's veto of $454,000 for nonprofit rape crisis centers will lead to additional crime and other problems that will end up costing the state more over the long run. It will get a lot worse. And the, of course, it's going to fall back on the government to provide for whatever happens down the road. Tabitha Autry not only cares for a sexual abuse victim, she was one herself. She says she's ready to march on Columbia, write letters, stand on street corners to protest if she has to, to keep money flowing for counseling services. Every family, not in just this city, this county or state, but this entire nation has been affected by sexual abuse in one way or another. Governor Haley says the state shouldn't give money to nonprofit groups. She says those patients and victims affected by her cuts to the state health department have her sympathy but represent a small portion of the state's ill or abused. But Councilor Tina Toth says her agency's free services are vital to victims of abuse, and she worries about keeping the doors open and lights on without state funding. We may not be as available to respond through the crisis hotline, to hospital accompaniment, through legal advocacy, in counseling and support groups. So it is really jeopardizing our ability to stay afloat as an agency.